On Monday, former Gonzaga point guard Courtney Vandersloot made history as she recorded 18 assists in a contest. Turnover. Sloot leading the break. Perfect pass. It's a one position game. Vandersloot gets the screen from Dolson. Eight to shoot. Vandersloot stops. Fades. And yes! So my name is Courtney Vandersloo, and I am a WNBA basketball player. So I grew up in Kent, Washington, and I started at Martin Sartoon Elementary and then went to Emerald Park when it was opened. And then I went to Meridian Junior High at the time. And then I went to Kentwood and I graduated Kentwood High School in 2007. My name is Jersey Huerta. I'm a junior and I play basketball at Kentwood. I've been playing basketball for as long as I can remember, honestly. I come from a sports family, so it's just been natural. And um, I've been playing basketball for the Kent School District since like middle school <laughs> until now. Oh, I went to Matson Middle School. <laughs> My name is Anaya Washington, and I'm a junior. I play basketball. I played with Jersey at Matson. I started playing basketball around like kindergarten and then like took a break and took it serious around the fifth grade. I joined my first AAU team in fifth grade. And I went to Matson High Middle School. And then from there, like been playing with KSD to high school. Well, I started probably when I was around five, you know, at Kent Parks and Rec, um, you know, just a seasonal thing. And then when I was old enough to play in junior high, it was the first like school team that I played for starting in seventh grade. It was still a junior high there. So I played till ninth grade at Meridian. And then I played three years at varsity, on varsity basketball for Kentwood. You know, I loved my time in, in Kent and I loved growing up there. It was a perfect place to be raised. Um, you know, I, it definitely shaped who I am today. Um, even even now, I haven't lived in Washington in over 10 years, but Kent is still is still home to me. You know, I remember back in high school, um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a little bit, but I do remember, you know, always being pushed to be a best version of myself. Um, you know, I remember going and, and always being taught that you know, this is a place to succeed and um, everybody's journey is different, but you know, everybody had an opportunity that started in high school and, and you could make really make something of yourself and, you know, leave there um, a better person and continue to grow and, you know, really be an important part of the community. I feel like the coaching staff definitely push you to like strive in like not only basketball, but like in the classroom too. And like the teachers are like on you even more about your homework because like they know that you're an athlete. So it's like just like really like do good and they're like help you more. So, yeah. You know, the league was very young when I was um, that age. And I remember like just being so excited that there was a women's professional league and that I could, you know, aspire to be there one day. Um, you know, it wasn't until much later in my career that I thought, wow, this is really possible. Um, you know, I remember being told that I was too small and, um, you know, that I wasn't fast enough or strong enough, whatever it was um, to, to play at like a really high level. I ignored those people that said I wasn't good enough and I, you know, just continued to work hard and I was able to make something of myself. I mean, it's really cool to like know that she's in the WNBA now and once was in the position I'm in. So like, it's something to really look up to and know that like, I can do the same because she started where I am now. I would say some advice that that's important for people just striving to be just successful in general is, um, you know, you have to put in the work. I think that's kind of what, that is what's got me to where I am today is that I was willing to outwork anybody. I've never had like, you know, I've never been the strongest or the fastest, um, the best really at, at anything. Um, but I just continued to work hard and found a place that, that valued me as a person and as a player. Um, so I think, you know, just always put your best foot forward be a good person um, and, and always work as hard as you can and, and you'll definitely be successful at whatever it is. I feel like any professional athlete that's higher than I am inspired me to be there because they did something right to get there. So coming from her, it's like she was on the same court that I'm at, the same school that I'm at. So like knowing that she came from here makes me feel like I can come from here and like get higher just like her. So. I'm proud to be from and, and was raised in the Kent School District and, um, you know, it played a big role in my journey. And, you know, I it was so long ago, but I don't know if I'm here today if I was if I wasn't raised in, you know, in that area and um, go go through that school system. So, you know, I'm proud to be a member of the, of the Kent School District for sure.